How hey, are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Uh, good. I'm doing good, like everyone else, I think. You know what? There's it's 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 a mad mad crazy world out there but we're getting by we're getting through we're doing isn't what we it, have to right isn't it kind of comforting that you know you get a little worried of oh i'm not responding or i'm not you know in the same timeline that you wanted to be but everyone's in the same boat we're all in it together we're all in it together um how have you been you were our 2019 so last year summit for life bounce back give back award along with Lauren Shields, can you yeah. give, let me give a little bit of an intro, but then you jump in. You are a heart transplant recipient, cancer yeah. survivor, Iron Man, and that you too. did Summit for Life, which was over 2,000 feet, vertical feet, up the face of Aspen Mountain, under the stars, and you didn't just complete it, Derek. <laughs> You helped your wife down, you came back up, you went back down, you helped people. For those of you that don't know, we award uh, the Bounce Back Award winners at the top of Aspen Mountain at a big party after 500 of our closest friends go up the mountain. And you scared the bejeepers out of me because we were about to announce the award and right before we're going, your wife runs up to me and she's like, he's not here. He's not here. And I'm like, what do we do? And Chris just rolled with the punches and like clockwork, you walk into the back of the, of the room, pulls up high, you help some more people up the mountain. What can you not do? <laughs> well, you know, it, it, thank you. Um, that was a great moment. And, and uh, again, to be to be to be given that honor um to be with the the Chris Kluge Foundation out there with you guys and and to to support organ donation organ transplantation in that event was huge to me um even without getting the award I was coming out and doing that mountain um <laughs> so um yeah you know what I I have been an underdog for so long in in so many stages of my life and 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 medical diagnoses that I do not leave people behind. And when I got on that mountain, I saw people struggling. I was like, okay, that's cool. We got this, you know, we can make it to the top of the mountain. This is what we're going to do. And, and so um, it, it became, I, I'd, I'd been out there to, to, to climb the mountain with you guys before and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, do the summit for life. But uh, <clears throat> so I knew that, Chris was going to be making the announcement for the Bounce Back Kids. And you were our 2019, so last year. Give Back Award at some point during the evening. Mm -hmm. And so thankfully I had my phone with me. And I, my, my wife Erin was at the top with you. And I would check in with her every time, every now and again and say, all right, how are they doing in the evening? Are they looking for me? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm walking with somebody here and we're, we're going to make it up no matter how long it takes. And thankfully we made it up right uh, as right in time for the award, and, and it was a special moment, um, regardless. But but knowing that uh, that I had spent a good time out there, I I think I did twice the distance of the mountain mm -hmm. uh, of the summit for life during that course of uh, of the evening, uh, just going up and down and up and down and, and getting people up to the top. That uh, to walk in and and see my picture behind Chris's head up on the screen, I was like, oh, perfect timing. So perfect it, timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. But you have a ton of training being an Ironman triathlete. This is kind of what qualified you as a bounce back winner. Our bounce back award is we award two people that leave a, lead a great quality of life post transplant. Um, you leapt from the nominations. We had about 80 nominations last year and you and Lauren uh, were, were definitely our, our finalists by a not a long shot. It's the worst task, I say, of the year is going through these nominations. So we are open for nomination uh, starting April 1st through April 30th. Please, if you know anybody that deserves this award, submit the nomination. I have a quick, like, whoo, go to chrisklugfoundation.org slash bounce back. You can find it on our website. We'll have a bunch of posts. We'll include it uh, in this post, but um 
what what really resonated with me with you was that you you weren't an athlete before can you tell the difference between pre and post being a heart transplant recipient oh oh what i did before my transplant yeah i did nothing <laughs> I, I was i was, a, I, was um, I, I worked all the time and i was overweight and i was completely out of shape and so the transplant process itself i mean i had cancer first it put me through uh seven years of heart failure um because uh, one of the chemo drugs killed my heart mm -hmm. so um to be given a third shot at life um after you know thinking it was all over with cancer and then coming back and then going into heart failure and then they say you know we found you this heart um for me the only way that i can truly earn the gift that i've been given is to take care of my body the and, and to be the best custodian of my body that I can be. That's somebody chose to give me their organs when they died and their family allowed that to happen. And for me to, 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 to not honor that, mm -hmm. the, the very least that I can do is to, to, do, to take care of my body so that this body and this hero's heart that I have work well together for as long as we possibly can. Well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And since oh. then, and you give back to the transplant community as well through uh, Recycled Man, your foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? And Our goal uh, is basically, it's a reflection of what I went through and knowing how focused I was on everything else in life, but taking care of myself mm -hmm. uh, and knowing that I wasn't active uh, and, and how much that impacted my health before. The goal is not to be the slug like as I was and to become an Iron Man. The, the, the goal is to never let yourself get as bad as I got. Um, but, but I know there are people worse off than I was. Uh, and I think the, 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 mission, uh, the, the mission of the Recycled Men Foundation, the tagline that we, we talk about is fighting for a life worth fighting for. And it's about improving quality of life for all people not just transplants not just cancer survivors but anybody that's gone through anything we all go through something uh and you have to remember to take care of yourself you have to to get up and you have to keep moving and it's our goal to get as many people moving and active as humanly possible so that they improve their quality of life and they remember what it is in life that's worth fighting for so uh we uh you know, the, the first thing that I do is lead by example. Um, there are a number of other initiatives that we have coming up as we're dealing with the, the paperwork uh, of, of getting our 501c3 put in place. But, you know, it's, it's working with the Chris Klug Foundation um, and, and finding ways to inspire people to, to get up and get moving. It's finding ways to, to remind them of how amazing life is mm -hmm. and to be present in it and to take part in it and to give back to to the people that aren't where you are yet mm -hmm. you know it's uh we all go through stuff and uh and 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 some people say to me oh you've been through oh i i couldn't imagine what you've gone through you've gone through the, the cancer the heart transplant you know i just have and then fill in the blank I just have fill in the blank. It, it doesn't matter. Right. It's all the same. It's all a mountain. Mm -hmm. It's all relative to your life. And whatever that mountain is that you've got to climb that's in front of you, that's daunting, that's intimidating, mm -hmm. that you're scared to approach and you just keep avoiding, that's the thing that you have to attack. That's the thing that once you get to the other side of, that's where all the good stuff happens. And so our goal is just to remind people of that and to uh to, to encourage that to encourage that forward progress and sometimes it's it's about taking just one tiny step yeah yeah so this april is donate life month and now we are yep. so excited we're partnering with donate life america and all the opos across the country and they are doing a campaign which i you know was was brought up before 
this COVID and everyone's locked in their houses and such, but it's uh, the show your heart campaign. So hashtag show your heart. Oh, good. We're coming up with challenges to show kindness. So I challenge you to get out there and show kindness. If it's not out in your community to your local restaurants that are hurting right now, or at least show kindness to your wife. How about that? <laughs> Inside I can your manage house. that. I can manage that. <laughs> We're going to come up with a bunch of challenges and put them out through the month. But uh, I believe that you're going to be a good person to, to help spread that kindness throughout and celebrate April Donate Life Month. We are taking nominations for Bounce Back Awards. Thank you, Derek, for joining me. I really appreciate it. It's so good to see you. Thank you, Lauren. It's good to see your face. Yeah, you too. <laughs>